Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's Steve Cow 5 juf Hope everyone's doing okay out there this weekend. So, working on some uh, some new videos. What I'm going to cover uh, today is I'm going to start talking a little bit about C4FM, uh, Wires X, and uh, repeaters that are linked, uh, for example, for Texas Nexus. So, what I'm going to cover today is I'm going to go over and show you how to get your radio set up where you want to set your call sign and your GPS coordinates on your radio. Because whenever you talk C4FM, uh, the C4FM information is actually transmitted with your uh, communication so other people can see your actual distance and so forth. So real quick, i got a couple of repeaters I want to talk about. Uh, and of course, for preparing the radio and so forth. But uh, what I've got here is just a quick overview. Uh, you know, find your local ham clubs. Um, you know, listen to the local repeaters. Look for, uh, you know, traffic and so forth. Um, but what I want to go over now is <clears throat> the C4FM mode. And C4FM is a digital mode from Yesu. It's, uh, they also refer to it as System Fusion. And what this is, this is a digital mode uh, that actually has two modes in, within the C4FM. They have what's called Digital Narrow and Voice Wide. For most purposes, uh, Digital Narrow is is what's pretty common. Voice Wide is also uh, gives you a little bit better voice quality. But the benefit of Digital Narrow is it also has uh, GPS uh, information that comes with your transmission and it also has forward uh, uh, error correction where it, it helps uh, make sure that the signal gets through a little bit better. So it's got some internal uh, algorithms that does signal correction and so forth. So uh, those are the two modes. So essentially you could go to any FT991 radio and just like you talk FM uh, you could simply press the mode button and go to C4 FM and you could talk uh, to two different uh, stations. You could talk to another station and they could hear you in C4 FM and when you talk to them they'll hear you and of course with that information will be your your coordinates and so forth. So just a quick review, what I want to cover is the, some of the types of repeaters that are out there. One of the common repeaters they have is uh, Yesu, and a lot of clubs have these repeaters today. This is an example of a club in Fort Worth. It has a repeater that's actually configured for uh, C4 FM radio to radio, and it's also configured for FM radio to radio. The repeaters are called AMS, which is Automatic Mode Select. So if you transmit into the repeater in FM, the repeater will act as an FM repeater. If you transmit in as a C4 FM digital, it'll act as a C4 FM repeater. So it's called a more or less a dual mode. Again, this is the FM. You, have, you typically have a CTCSS, and there's a key to unlock the repeater, and then the repeater sends a key, and then your radio unlocks the signal. This is the way C4 FM would work, essentially, except there's no key. It's digital. And, of course, the repeater would be in AMS mode. This example here shows a CF, C4 FM transmission. This is another repeater that's linked to Texas Nexus. Uh, there are a lot of common repeaters that are actually auto-patched into Texas Nexus. This also is a dual-mode repeater. This one here is located uh, K5RWK in Richardson. You see the FM portion of the repeater information here with the PL code. And down here, it mentions that it is actually linked in full auto to Wires X, but by default, it's patched to Texas Nexus. So if you key up in C4FM on this particular repeater, you'll talk directly into Texas Nexus. Now you can also go in and use the wires X function and access the node and, and look at the different rooms and so forth. But I'll go over that in a little bit. So here's the repeater again in FM. Now the difference is on this repeater here, remember I showed you it's a C4 FM repeater, but it talks radio to radio. Now this repeater, the K5RWK, this is patched permanently to Texas Nexus. 
So when you key up into this repeater in C4FM, you're not talking to other radios just from the repeater. That repeater is actually patched into Texas Nexus via the internet, and you're talking globally internet all over the world, essentially, within the Texas Nexus network. This same repeater has a function too. If you press your wires X button on your radio, you can actually go in and access the node. Now this node is the, gives you the ability to go in and look at different chat rooms and change the chat rooms. So this is the repeater. We're gonna program this one here in a little bit, but first what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our radio set up for C4FM. And we're going to program this repeater in a later example. So let's get your radio ready. What we'll have to do first is we need to set up your call sign. Now most users when they get your FT991A it will ask you for your call sign. So one of the tips that I like to do is you have up to 10 characters that you can enter into this field. Now what I like to do is I'm going to update mine that says KI5JUFSTE. And that way they can kind of see my name is Steve. So it's, uh, uh, you know, same thing here. My dad can do his for Ron and so forth. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, most, most of you have already probably already done this, but I'm going to show you anyway, just as a quick review. But more importantly, you need to set your manual GPS settings. And this is actually what you want to do here is... Is, is what we want to do is I'll, let me go ahead you want to go into this website here and what you do is when you enter this website you enter your address now this is going to give you some information what it's going to give you is it's going to give your latitude and longitude but it's also going to give you these degrees and minutes and seconds over here so when we go in and update the uh, GPS on the FT991, it not only needs your latitude and longitude, but it also needs this additional information which comes from this website. And then lastly, we'll do a repeater, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. But the purpose here mainly is to enter your call sign and to enter your latitude and longitude with the minutes and the seconds, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what we'll do here is let me stop the video real quick. Okay, this is the video. This is the website here. And what you would do is you would typically type in an address. And when you type in your address, it's going to give you the latitude and the longitude. But it's also going to give you down here your GPS coordinates. And this is what we're going to actually enter into the radio or 32 20 14 and 99 42. So that's how you do that. You put your address in here. Here's this is the uh, the website, and this is the information here you're going to put in your radio. So we'll switch over to the radio and we'll get started. All right, folks, Steve back KF5JUF. So I'm going to show you first. We'll go through the radio and I'm going to show you how to set up, set up your uh, your call sign and your tag name. So what we'll do first is we will go ahead and we will press and hold the menu set up. And the, what's going to happen is when I press and hold the menu setup, you're going to see these functions down here. Now, what I like to do is I like to have my uh, call sign set up, and I'll go ahead and bring up an example here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my call sign, <clears throat> and then I'm going to enter, uh, let's see, let's uh, go forward here for a second and you would enter KI5JUF, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a slash and I'm going to put uh, Steve and I think that's, yeah, that's all it will let you do is, uh, so let me back up one here so I'm going to press Steve, so what happens now is whenever I make a call on C4FM they're going to see KI5JUF and they might get the idea that my name is Steve, but it, it just kind of helps. So that's that's how you do that. Now the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and enter our latitude and longitude. So remember that website I showed you. <clears throat> the settings I'm going to put in are, let me go back and verify this. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type latitude first. 
and I'm going to type in 3220 and then it's 14.3 but I'm going to uh, estimate it to 15 and it's north and it says that on the website so that's my latitude okay now here's my longitude longitude will be 99 let's see here uh, 99.42 and then it says 50.3 but I can't get there so I'm just going to type in 50 and it's west and I think you can actually put east or west there yeah so that it you can change it to east or west but that website I showed you is going to show you this alright there we go now we've got our latitude and our longitude set the last thing we'll do is on the time is I always set my clock to Zulu time so if you just want to uh, Google GMT time uh, I run my my radio on Zulu time so now what happens is I'm going to clear out of here by pressing this once when I turn the radio off let me do that in HRD I've got it turned on watch what happens now when I turn the radio off now when I turn the radio back on you're going to see my call sign appear but you're also going to see that updated information KI5 JUF Steve so now whenever you make a call you'll be able to have that information and I'm going to try to make a call real quick here and see if I can show you that information this is the repeater in Sweetwater and let's see if we can make this repeater here real quick uh, see if we can get any information. This is C4FM, this is the Sweetwater Repeater. This is KI5 JUF calling radio test. See if anybody hears us. Sometimes when they hear us you'll hear it come back but there may not be anybody on the air right now. Looks like it's clear there's not anyone on the frequency right now but this is the repeater that we're going to program later this is a repeater in Sweetwater and I've got this set up for C4FM and this repeater is also patched in to Wires X so if we go down here uh, and press the Wires X button you'll actually see it and it'll pop up but we're not going to go into it at this time but I'm going to show you kind of what just what it looks like there we're connected there's the node right there, KE5YF repeater, and there's the Texas Nexus. And uh looks like that's the one he's got. There's 53 people in it right now, so we'll go ahead and disconnect it this time. So that's more to come on that uh, WireSex, so we'll, we'll get into that a little bit uh, later. Okay, well that's the video, and again, this is just to show you how to get your radio set up with your call sign and your name, entering your latitude and longitude, and Zulu time. So, hope you enjoyed the video and there will be more to come. 73.